Um, I was the first woman in my family to go to college and went away to a state university specifically to study biology. But when I was in, and I played accordion as a child and absolutely loved music and, and begged my parents for years to help me get music lessons. So I go to college. I'm a pre-med student in a very large biology class. Um, chemistry class had 500 students in a big lecture hall. Um, did well, um, but was really disillusioned by the size of the classes. I'm a very, you know, one-to-one -one, uh, learning type of person and like to be in the moment engaging in what I'm doing. And I can't study passively like that. It just doesn't do it for me. My band director from high school suggested that maybe I should take trumpet lessons because there was this wonderful um, trumpet teacher, Monty Anderson, who was principal with the New York City Ballet, who happened to be on faculty. So my sophomore year, I auditioned for the music department. I got in and double majored for the next year. So I became immersed in that. I was still doing biochem and zoology and, and all these courses. So being a performer wasn't really want, where I wanted to go, and I was really lost. And then my junior year, I went home on holiday. Um, I was going through some old 17 magazines, believe it or not, and I found a sidebar article from NAMT saying a career in music therapy. And all of a sudden, all the lights went on. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, can I actually do therapy with music? Is, can I do something with music? And by this time, I was um, not only solo cornet player in the wind ensemble at the university, but I was playing in every chamber ensemble. The band director at this university was also the band director at NYU. And he said, Connie, you know, there's a music therapy program that just started at NYU. If you come to, to New York University, you could be in the band. I'll have my solo cornet play, which I desperately need. And he goes, why don't you write to, uh, Gerald Ross was the dean chair of the department at the time, of the music performance department. So I wrote to him and he was so gracious. He says, absolutely. You know, he looked at the courses I took. He says, you've taken so much music, you've taken so much science, take a course in abnormal psych, behavioral psychology. By my senior year, I actually did an independent study in early childhood development and, and, and music learning. I graduated in uh, the end of May and uh, June, not even the beginning of June, I was taking intro to music therapy with Edie Boxel in at NYU.